everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another Ein Odin 2 video. Today I'm going to showcase uh, Daijisho front end on my Odin 2 and as you see, let's just turn it on. You will be greeted with the Ein uh, friendly interface. And of course, as you see in the background, I'm using the AOSP launcher because with Daijisho, you have to use AOSP launcher and not the Odin launcher. Okay, and once you click on the A, it takes you directly to uh, Daijisho. And of course, as I mentioned, Daijisho is one of the best uh, front ends that I prefer on my handheld consoles. I have it on my RP3 Plus as well and it looks so beautiful on the Odin 2 as well. So I just included some systems, you know, just to show you. So let's start by Atari, one of my favorite uh, systems from the 80s, as you see here. And of course I'll include in the video description all the tips and steps on how to set up Daijisho. And then we have Dreamcast, uh, GameCube as you see, a couple of games that I will share with you as well. Most of the Need for Speed uh, series, some shooting games, Tom Clancy as well. And then uh, Sega Naomi, PS2 as well, one of my favorite systems and I think the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will handle, you know, these systems like a boss, as you see, Call of Duty, Delta Force, GTA, you know, a couple of racing games, um, as well, the Need for Speed, as always, some shooting games, these are mostly the games I love to play, you know, shooting games, RPGs, racing, yeah. And of course then we have uh, PSP as well, as you see, my favorite titles as well. The box art looks amazing on, uh, front, on the Daijisho front end as well. God of War, Gran Turismo, GTA as well, Medal of Honor, MotoGP, Need for Speed so on so forth and then we have the PS1 as well here are some of my favorite titles from PS1 Darkstone this is very very popular back in the day I used to play it with my brother Delta Force as well, Hercules from Disney, Tarzan, Ducati World, Pinball, yeah, Gran Turismo 2, GTA, High Octane, Inspector Gadget, Medal of Honor, The Mummy, NASCAR, Need for Speed as well, The Pink Panther, Pinball, and the Smurfs, Space Invaders, okay. And then we have as well Tomb Raider, okay. And then Sega Saturn, and then Wii as well. As you see here, Call of Duty, I'll share some Wii gameplay emulation with you. Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare, Dodge Racing, Medal of Honor, MotoGP, the Need for Speed series, my favorites as well, The Run, I think this is something I might share with you as well, and then uh, Prince of Persia, Ghost Recon from Tom Clancy, Trackmania, and Tomb Raider, yeah, and of course I'll include all the tips as I mentioned in the video description, it's, e it's su super easy, you can just download uh, Daijisho from the Play Store, and once you have it, you just start it, 
and make sure to start first with download here and then here you choose the platforms or the systems that you would like to show on your front end and then you just go import and after that you go to uh, paths you know to add your game roms add more you just navigate you know where you saved your uh, game roms and then you click finish and after that of course you have to go to the edit section here because you need to make sure that your uh, core and emulator are uh, matching the system so you scroll down until you reach the player settings here and then from the drop down menu you choose the emulator or the core that goes or matches your uh, system and then you click save and after that you go again to path and then you go sync and once you click on sync it automatically adds all your game ROMs uh, one other thing I would like to share with you as well suppose that you are missing some box art you know for some reason and what you or how can you uh, include your own box art is that you keep pressing on the game and then you go to edit item edit preview media box art and then this is your downloads folder where you download all your let's say you know pictures or, or images and then you just click on it and it automatically takes you uh, and saves the and then you click save it and it saves the, the box art for you okay and then if you would like to change uh, the theme as well you just go to settings uh, and then you go to appearance here and then in appearance you go to um, I'm sorry this is the wallpaper I think it should be here download platform wallpapers pack you click here and then these are all the themes that are that are available on Daijisho you just choose one and then you click download and then it will change the theme for you so changing the theme the box art as I said I'll include everything in the video description later when I share with you uh, the gameplay I'll tell you which files and which cores and which emulators and which uh, ROM systems you have to use well that would be for today guys thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the video and as I said Daijisho is amazing as a front end feel free to use it um, thanks again for watching and always, as I mentioned, we don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.